could touch the alien sand and hear the cries of strange birds and watch them wheel in another sky, would that satisfy you? As we learn about each other, so we learn about ourselves. Now we have the highlight of the box, which is Paul McGann uh, as the eighth Doctor. You can get him anywhere else, so you try to look on the internet or anything. Good luck. The only way you can f find it is the Eleven Doctors box set, unless you find one separately on eBay. Um, yeah. So you have a sonic screwdriver here. He's finally got one. So, oh yeah, I forgot to mention he's from the TV movie. There should be a red tip here. I don't know why it's not there. Um, yeah, it should be because that's what it like in the TV movie. So kind of like the Tom Baker's one. I'll put this back on. I'll oh, forget it. I won't. Um, so you got the question marks. I think I don't know what they are. Um, articulation. 360 arms, 360 elbows, uh, 180 legs. Yeah, they do. They don't do really good on the legs. Um, face like. Yes, it looks like Paul McGann. I can definitely tell. And this is like my favourite doctors out of all the sets. Does it look like him? Um, I think Character Options did a fantastic job on him to make it look like him. So, yes, it's a pretty good Doctor, I have to admit. Looks like him. So, I'll have you, like, the new ones. And this will be good. Now, we're now I'm going to do something that I normally wouldn't do in, like, reviews, is do the new series. So, this is Christopher Eccleston, the Ninth Doctor, from, oh, I'm actually not sure what it is, but I think it's the first, um, series, yeah, of the new ones. Um, I just wish there would have been a colour change in, like, his shirt, like, green instead of, well, you know, red, that's the typical colour you get in, like, all the, like, you get in, like, a Christopher Eccleston clothes, uh, Got a sonic screwdriver and um, all right, articulation 360 on arms, elbow check. Yep, legs don't do 360, but it did in the character building. You, you could. Uh, this is odd. You can't move his legs. Yeah. This is my least favourite doctor because as well, because he has got the most boring clothes of all the doctors I have ever seen. So he's on the least favourite list with um Colin Baker. Um Yeah, so he's pretty dull, so you won't get a really good review from me. Now we have the 10th Doctor, David Tennant, from... Well, I think it's the end of time, but, like, cleaned up with glasses. Um, he is one of my few favourite Doctors, even though New Series isn't for me. I, I like it, but just... David Tennant's the one, like, he's first as my favourites for New Series, and Matt Smith and Eccleston. Just wish um, Christopher Eccleston had a um, never uh, year of do doing Doctor Who. And it's annoying because sometimes his sonic screw driver like falls out. It looks it's really hard for him to hold it. Um, the head colours on this, I don't know if you can see it, but it's pretty crap. Uh, it's just doing, doesn't look that very good. But if you look at his eyes. He looks a bit drunk. 
<laughs> right. Uh, shoes, yeah, they're very good. They're very good. Just, I think they've got blue lines. They should have cleaned that up. Don't know if you can see it, but I can definitely. Got the stripes here. Um, this black spot here. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, it's okay, that's all I can say. But I, I really like the David Tennant series, so don't ever go against me saying that all the new series sucks. It, 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 it does. It's okay. That's why. That's why I can say. So we'll be going for the last Doctor. Now this really hacks me off with this one because this is the eleventh Doctor from uh, the eleventh hour. It's annoying. If you've got an eleven doc, if you want the eleven Doctors and you want a, uh, well, if you want a Matt Smith that has a, I just wish there could be like a blue jacket, not like a red that has already been re-released. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> Paint, yes, you can tell it's Matt Smith, but it's a little bit atrocious. It just uh, gets on my nerves. And how they paint this. It's black lines here, and they can't even be bothered to do a little bit of lines on here. Uh, yeah, so you got a sonic screwdriver, a new one. Just wish it could be closed. Maybe someday they'll do that. Uh, yeah, you can tell it's Matt Smith. Okay, so articulation, 360 and head. Um, let's do 360, yep. So that's a good thing. Shame he's not ball jointed. <laughs> oh, I'm good. Uh, yeah, so this Matt Smith's pretty good. So, but it's okay. So, yeah, that's my review. Yeah, so those are the eleven doctors set. Okay, normally what I would do in a review, I do the verdict, which most um, reviewers don't do. So, my overall is eight point five because if you want the classics, yeah, and like if you don't, if you can't get the classics like, anywhere, I I actually recommend getting this. Um, but if you're here just to get the Paul, if you just want to get the Paul McGann, you better not buy it, because, uh, so if you've got all of them and, and you're just looking for the Paul McGann, just don't buy it, really. Um, just the new series are let, the, yeah, the new series are let downs. It's only, it's only just Christopher, Christopher and David, the, the Actually, figures aren't that very good, but yeah, it's very good. So, so if you're just a new, like if you're into the new series and you think, oh, well, these, yeah, I recommend buying them as well. So you can find out like who they are and if you, if you want to get into the classics, this is a good way of how to get into them. Yeah, so I recommend doing this. So this is all 10 April, and this is my review view on the 11 Doctors set, which is an 8.5. I'll see you guys later. Next review will be on the Red-Eyed Vok Robot. Another sky, would that satisfy you? As we learn about each other, so we learn about ourselves.